Truth Plus Media. Hey, what's up, everyone out there? Welcome back to another episode of Running Back. I am your host, Martin Cleats. And let me tell you something. I am super excited about our next guest because this dude is an absolute legend. It's an honor and a pleasure for me to be able to sit down and hang out with the legendary <laughs> Tyus Edney. Tyus, what's up, baby? <laughs> Mateen, it was good. <laughs> Oh, man. Listen, I'm, I'm a little jealous, man. You look like you're still 18 years old, man. What you eating <laughs> these days? <laughs> oh, I wish. I wish. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Well, it is good to have you on the show, man. How, how's everything going with you? Oh, everything's good. Everything's good. Um, back in basketball now, I just did my first year with the uh, University of San Diego. I don't know if you remember Coach Lav. I'm sure you remember sure. Coach Lav. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Lav yeah. got me back. Got me back down there, so uh, yeah, it was it was a, a, a interesting year. Good, you, you know, it was good to be back. Um, we were up and down a little bit, but it's good to be back in the game. Oh yeah, for sure. Now I got to ask this: um, Do these kids do they like do they know who their coach <laughs> is? Because I know I you know I'm out and about sometime, and you know parents will come up and say, "Hey, my son want a picture with you," and I'm thinking like. No, they don't, because they wasn't even born when I played. You would <laughs> yeah, have, yeah. to have a picture. So do these kids even know, like, know who you are, man? <laughs> um, you know, I think word of mouth a little bit, but not really. Yeah. <laughs> They're just like, who's this old dude trying to tell me stuff, you know? Yeah. So. <laughs> hey, tell them, tell them they better Google and get on YouTube <laughs> or whatever they need to do, because once they see you back in the day and see everything, how good you were, Oh, Shoot man. It. <laughs> Come on, man. I think they'll listen to everything you say. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, no, they're good, though. They're good. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, good. Well, let's 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 dive into it. And um, first of all, let's just like growing up in LA. All right. I'm from Michigan, man, Flint, Michigan. So yeah. all I know about LA is boys in the hood, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I know. So how how cool was it? And how was it even like just growing up in LA back in those days? Oh, it was it was fun. I mean, I, I think um, uh, it's it's it was for me. I, I was um, Long Beach, Long Beach, L.A. They're kind of right, right near yeah. each other. Um, uh, they uh, it's just a it's just an environment. I thought that was very diverse, which was, um, I think, a little bit different. I think it just kind of helped me overall. You, you don't realize things that help you until later on in life. And then but just having friends from, you know, just every nationality, every just non Beach was like a melting pot and, and you all just grow up together. <laughs> um, yeah. And so, um, you know, like, I don't know, like I went to Long Beach Poly high school and, um, that's legendary. Snoop. Yeah. Snoop yeah. was there. You'd have like Snoop to Cameron Diaz all hanging out together. Like we all home. Wow. You know what I mean? Like yeah. people, that's just how Long Beach was. <laughs> it's like, you know, you just, that's kind of grow up together. Everybody knows each other. And, and, uh, and the same with just sports, like basketball. You know, you obviously know the Lakers. You know about that <laughs> with Madge being from from Michigan, and, and um, uh, just growing up with the Lakers, UCLA, like um, all those teams. Even SC, SC was good back then. So it's a big like basketball city. You know, um, I didn't mean to not mention the Clippers, but growing up, Clippers weren't that good. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. We don't take we won't take offense to that, you know. Okay, we, okay. It was the Lake Show back then, baby. Oh, hey, yeah, trust oh, me, yeah. we are all basketball heads know that for sure. <laughs> yeah, man. So okay, now you mentioned Long Beach uh Poly. I mean, like you guys like were the real deal. Uh, yeah. I mean, you had like and to to play there, you know. Um, mm -hmm. how was that? You know, I mean, like, cause you guys had, I mean, you were like one of the top teams in in Shoot, yeah. might be in the nation. I mean, you guys had a good team. Yeah, we um we were uh I mean Polly's kind of known on the West, you know, they're big, big football and basketball, and and like you said, there's been just pros that's come out of there, football and basketball. And um just the tradition. I think in, in everyone in LA, there's those there's the Crenshaws, there's the back in the days, so, you know, the schools like that, and and Polly is always mentioned amongst those those types of schools so you have an expectation i mean i should i have family members that before i even got to buy it was like that yeah, 
All right, gotta keep it going now. Don't don't be over there tripping. <laughs> don't be over there. Not. So yeah, I mean, it was it was an expectation that if you went to poly, then then you were you know serious about sports and and you were, you know had an opportunity to have a future. So um, I was lucky to get coached by a legendary coach there, um, Ron Palmer, and and um, you know he prepared me, and then the opportunity came for UCLA. Yeah. 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 Heck of a high school career. And now you're you're being recruited because I know I mean, you you were probably being recruited by others. I know you end up going to UCLA, but what other schools uh, did you seriously consider around that time? Uh, it was mostly Pac. I think it was Pac, most of Pac-10 back then. Uh, a lot of schools in the Pac, the Arizona, even SC's, uh, shoot, the Washington's. the um, So mainly West Coast. I think yeah. schools and, and like, you know, like if you know now recruiting is so national and international now that just the access to players, I think, is just so much broader now. And so I think being more uh, West Coast recruited was probably kind of normal back then. But, um, yeah, most of the old schools, obviously, like the, the big West schools as well and, and schools like that. But um, just it was just different. Like I said, growing up, you know, it's like UCLA basketball. I know SC football I had to say it. And um, and it was the Lakers and then, you know, <laughs> and the Clippers, yeah. Clippers. But um, once UCLA came, it was kind of like, all right, all right, that's that's where I want to go. You know, So it was an easy decision for you. Yeah. Yeah. I think it was pretty easy. It was pretty easy. I think um, um, a friend of mine, his cousin, Mike Sanders, played at UCLA. And uh, he was, if you look at Mike me, Sanders, coached me and uh, coach me in, in the NBA. Yeah, I yeah. was gonna say, he was an NBA coach. There you yeah. go. <laughs> so, Mike, you know, I, it's funny because my family friend, he's the one that got me to a UCLA game. And I'll, you know, you go somewhere when you're young, and it's just like, wow, like, what is this? This is amazing. And so, I think I was, it was, you know, the, the brew and blue got in me, you know, back then. So, it wasn't wow. hard. <laughs> oh, they, they lucked out, man. They, oh, they lucked out. Now, I, I heard, and I don't know if it's true. That's why I want to ask you, like, uh, Coach Herrick came on, like, a recruiting visit, and he was, like, kind of trying to sell you on the program. And <laughs> yeah. you, you were like, <laughs> like, no need. You know, I want to go to UCLA. So how, how did that go? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they were, uh, yeah, yeah. I was like, you know, Coach. <laughs> We don't have to do all that. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Like, uh, so yeah, it was, uh, I kind of knew, I kind of knew, I think, you know, like SC came in and um, this is, I don't know if you were like this, but I was a little bit of a sleeper back in the day. And then coach Rab was like, we practice at 6 AM. And I was like, <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> you guys are playing basketball at six in the morning. <laughs> so I was like, I don't think I'm gonna go to SC. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, so he he that coach he screwed up if he, if he coached a little later he got a chance to get one of the best point guards in college basketball uh, history like you know. <laughs> <laughs> at 6 a.m it's funny because my parents like he said that they both looked at me like oh man like there ain't no way <laughs> yeah oh wow uh, that's wow man so you so you commit you make the commitment you know you you're on your way to um to ucla um, now I know one thing I ran into when I was as a, you know, being recruited, you know, you, they're mm -hmm. telling you a lot, you know, they're, they're praising you, you know, yeah. that they're, they're selling you on the school. It's all good stuff. Yeah. And then yeah. like, you know, a couple of days, you know, even in the summertime practice hadn't even started yet. I was like, who is this coach? You know, this is, this is <laughs> not the guy that recruited me. It's like, now <laughs> everything was my fault. I was just a little snotty nosed <laughs> freshman, you know, so. <laughs> How was that transition for you? Uh, you know, when you once you got on campus, um, I don't know if you were like this too, but first I was I was kind of in awe of my teammates because <laughs> we had um, shoot that was Don McLean, Tracy, all guys. We had basically I think 11, 11 guys on that team ended up being pros. So. Woo! I come in, Derek Martin, that was like the legend in Long Beach. Of, of, I mean, so I come in and I'm kind of in awe, like, man, I get to play with these dudes, you know what I mean? <laughs> and like you said, I was like, that first two weeks, I know Derek, Derek Martin played NBA, yeah. Gerald Mackins played NBA, like those two, Sean Tarver should have played NBA, but he was right there. I think he played. Oh, great guy. Yeah. And uh, 
they beat me up every day, man. Every day. I was like, I could barely get the ball across half court and, you know, like no fouls. I'm thinking like, I thought those used to be fouls. Like it wasn't no fouls. I know you because <laughs> they never called fouls for freshmen. <laughs> So I was like, yo, I got to figure this out because I can't even barely get the ball across half court. So I thought I was bad. I was like, man, I'm just, this is a lot, you know, like, oh, yeah. man. And um, um, I guess, you know, later I found out that I guess I was doing all right. You know, coaches thought I was doing all right. But you know how it is in high school. You do- you feel like you kind of dominate. You do whatever you want to do. And then um, you get to there with this, everybody's a dude. And you're not able to just do anything you want to do. But you feel like you're not performing or doing, you know, not dominating. So right. <laughs> that was like, it was a little bit of a shock, you know, that first that first few weeks, first month or whatever. So, well, well my my experience was a little different. I didn't have oh, okay. all those dudes, you know, I was kind of <laughs> looking around saying, oh, boy, I, I got to pass to that guy. Like, <laughs> <laughs> We might be in trouble, you know. <laughs> we need to get some recruits in here. With all respect to everybody that was there, but it was I wasn't looking around at pros, you know. It was it wasn't like that. So, but let me ask you this, man, because yeah, I know those guys kind of came at you, but was it was it more like uh, I'm not going to let this young buck come in take my minutes, or is like okay, I'm going to school him, put my arm around him, and kind of help mentor him. I think it was it was both, you know. I remember I remember um, I remember Gerald doing that a lot with me, just kind of like, "Come on, young fella," you know. I remember he's like, "Come on, come on, come on, get in this ice tub." I'm like, "What are you talking about getting an ice tub, man? Come on, young fella, come on, you're gonna need it." <laughs> you know what I mean? And like, um, but yeah, it was it was like a it was both. It was like you know, look, this is you got to get up to this level, and we're gonna we're gonna put you through it. But at the same time, we're gonna put our arm around you, make sure you're good. You know what I mean? So it was. I mean, it's to this day we all still, even the guys from my freshman year team all the way, we all still still talk and 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 you know touch base with each other. So it's 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 that bond that you build, as you know, just family. Kind of in the trenches with guys, you know. So so it's 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 all all good. Yes, all sir. Good. Now, yeah. I, word has it, and I know you thought you weren't playing, you wasn't uh, playing good, but I heard like Coach Wooden was like around and kind of saw some practices and uh, and and, and kind of sang some high praise uh, yeah. about tires. You know how how was that? Like I said, I didn't even know. You know, when you're in it at the time, you don't even you don't know what's going on. Or you're just trying to survive every day, and and. Uh, <laughs> You know, he came, I guess coach, coach, coach told me later, he's like, yeah, coach, you know, coach Wooden came to practice and he was like, who's the little guy? He's like, I like the little guy. He sees everything, you know? <laughs> yeah. And yeah. so, you know, when you look back and even though I never played for Wooden, you know, he's the one who really got me on the court. I don't think I would have seen the court my freshman year unless, you know, unless Wooden gave his, uh, his approval, let's just say. Wow. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, you got to play that little guy. <laughs> Man, like, this, and, and you just say it so humble, you know, oh, Coach yeah. Wooden. Like, who, who <laughs> does Coach Wooden have praise for? Like, that's, like, that's, that's incredible, man. Like, uh, yeah. yeah, so shout out to Coach Wooden for that. And I want people that's, that's, that's watching this just to know that's a big deal. <laughs> right. Some of you young bucks out there, you know, but that's that's a huge, huge stamp of approval from Coach Wood. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah, that's a big deal. Okay, now um guys, you're getting acclimated uh freshman year to the kind of the uh the college game. Now you have first of all, your your roommate. Now you were roomed with um the big fella, right? George Zedek. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah. Yeah. Now, you from LA. He's from what? The the, the Czech, Czech what, what? Republic. <laughs> how did that happen? How was, you know you didn't get to pick your roommate or like how did that go? No, no it was it was funny because <laughs> first time I met him, it was it was uh I'm, I'm with my buddies, we're you know, we're hanging out. And I don't know, we were up late. You know how it is when you first get to college, you're just trying to do everything. And so <laughs> my buddy uh was fell asleep on the floor and uh he comes running in the room like, hey, 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 somebody's here, somebody's here, hey. And uh big George, seven foot, and Petruska was the other six eleven, are just in the doorway, <laughs> like, hey, like kicking him, like, hey, 
hey, are you, you t- where's tires? Where's tires? <laughs> <Eddie. laughs> um, but yeah, he was great, man. George was um uh, was really funny, man. He's just and he was learning, you know, he knew some English, but he was learning it. And I think he picked up more slang than than anything. And I'm <laughs> you know, just uh being around the guys, being around us, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, my parents used to call me like, I thought George was you. He sounds like you now. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh yeah. man, but, uh, he I, was the best. He was the best. Yeah, and I heard that you like you played an integral part in him. Like you kind of poured into yeah. him, and and really was a uh, a leader that really kind of helped him prosper at, at uh, UCLA. Yeah, yeah, just trying to just like you said, adjustment, adjusting, adapting. Um, and George is a worker. Like he, he probably had the same trauma I did in the first month. <laughs> like, man, guy, we got to figure this out, Big George. You know. <laughs> Uh, so George just he just dove into the to the work and uh that dude he was I remember he would work before class after class you know in the middle of the day you go to gym he's in there working and he's really the definition of guy that like really cre- made himself into a player and and yeah. to get drafted in the NBA I mean that that just tells you what kind of kind of work ethic he had and um but yeah he was we we were the, the freshman trying to trying to figure it out yeah, man. You guys, your freshman year, you went to the Elite Eight, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So how was that experience? I mean, because you hear about it uh, and, you know, growing up, you watch it on TV. How was that experience just, you know, playing in the NCAA tournament as a freshman? Oh, uh, that was that was unbelievable. I knew we were good. And then but it's just something different. You know, we didn't have a conference tournament back then. So I think conference tournaments have a little bit of that feel. You get a little bit of it, but mm-hmm. um, it's just nothing like the NCAA. When you just the whole feel, you get to you know just every everything's about you guys and that and the tournament, and you see the banners everywhere. You see NCAA, you know what I mean? Like it just feels different, as you know. It just feels like this is something special, and um, you know they they just do a great job. It's even gotten bigger and bigger. Um, but I just remember like it was it was. Um, it was something I never experienced, you know, just, you know, this is something I don't know nothing, nothing about. That. <laughs> this is just, everything's just different. Well, that first experience, man, it's nothing like it. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, and, and, and selfishly, I want to sit here and I want to talk about every game, but we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll speed it up uh, somewhat and kind of let's fast forward to your senior year. All right. Now mm-hmm. you've had all this experience, been to the Elite Eight. I mean, you've been in a tournament, played in the, the Pac-10, which is one of the best conferences uh, in the nation. Now, what's the mindset that summer going into that year? I mean, do you guys do you do you taste it? You know, do you guys feel, you know, that summer that you could actually win a national championship? We lost early the year before in the first round of Tulsa and um, we were angry. From that point, you know, <laughs> let's just say, <laughs> um, because we knew that we we were better than that, and um, and we you know, and then we had our freshmen come in that were all you know, Yates and young phenoms, and so we knew that with the additions of of who we had coming and and what we knew we were capable of, you know, that that focus started at, at in the locker room after that game honestly. And I think the freshmen came in and probably like, man, why are these guys so serious all the time? <laughs> <laughs> these guys I, ain't no fun. Like they all, <laughs> but, um, but we were all locked in because we do that. We, we had an opportunity to do, to, to do something special if we, we handled business. And um, that's kind of how that season was. You know, I think um, we realized how good like the freshman guys coming in were and that they, um, we're really going to help us. And I even think early on, we beat Kentucky with, with uh, that 95 Kentucky team. They, they won at 96, but that we had a battle in like a wooden classic and, and J.R. Henderson, our freshman made a free throw for us to win the game. So it was like, right away, we knew like, man, we, you know, we have young guys that are coming in and, and it's not scared of the moment ready to step up. And, and, um, you know, I think we just kind of gelled. They just, they, 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 we all knew each, you know, like it is, you recruit the West. So we all kind of knew each other. We all, and then you're playing together. So we all have respect for each other. And, and I think it just, it just really created that family atmosphere and that family bond and then just carried over the whole season. Yeah. Yeah. That Kentucky game, that was a beast. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember watching that game, but that was, woo, yeah. that was it. Yeah, that was a bad man. It was, uh, <laughs> that was a tough one. Then now you're going through the Pac-10. Pac Other great guards. I mean, you, you, I mean, there was some talent in the Pac-10 Pac back then. You know, a lot of good guard play. Uh, you faced a lot of good guards, man, you know, night in and night out in the Pac-10. Mm -hmm. But what was the – is the mindset still our business? You know, we're, we're, we're totally locked in going through the, the Pac-10. Yeah, yeah. I think, um, like you said, it was – I mean, every night, every night was a battle. You know, every night with guards, like you said, uh, um, um, so many pros in the Pac back then that do just – every team pretty much I – mean, you know, even maybe the teams that were lower, I think it was maybe at the time is Washington. They even had pros, you know what I mean? So like, it wasn't really it wasn't a night off. Um, yeah. So early, early in the season, we lost to Oregon and that kind of, I think that, that, that uh, woke us up a little bit. It, it refocused us. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I, I think that those early lessons and you know, this too, sometimes those early losses, they, they help you. They help you a little bit, even though at the time you hate it, but um, then I think maybe the only other loss was Cal, but I guess they took that away, <laughs> but for <laughs> us, it's still, but, um, but pretty much, you know, after, from, you know, we were pretty much one or two the whole season and, and, uh, um, but we, we, I don't think everyone ever really caring about that. It was just like, what do we, what do we, what do we need to do to win the next game? You know? And so that was what our concentration was. Yeah. Now it's tournament time. All right. Now. Okay. Mm -hmm. We get through the pack, pack 10. It's tournament time. You know, it's all or nothing. Lose one, you go home. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 So you, you get in the tournament and it wasn't a, it wasn't a cakewalk. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Missouri. <laughs> so you run into Missouri. All right. And I mean, you, you dog fight. I mean, you know, everybody in it and everybody's coming at you. I mean, you're, you're the big dog. You're number one seed. Uh, everybody's been yeah. watching you on TV all season long, and it's a dog fight. You know, I, I, I guess you kind of expect because all season sometimes we'd be in tough games, but then we kind of would figure out a way to to uh, extend, just stretch the lead out or something like that. And I just remember that as that game was going on, like it, it was it wasn't happening. <laughs> I remember thinking like, man. These guys keep making shots and like, like, all right, when are we going to break this game? You know, <laughs> and uh, it just wasn't it wasn't coming. And then we were up one and they had it. And, um, you know, they they made a nice play to a good pass for a layup. And when we called timeout and I feel like that's that was when it was like, wait a minute, can we could actually lose this game. <laughs> you know, you walk back to the huddle, you're like hold on, wait a minute, we, we actually might lose, you know? <laughs> so, yeah. uh, that's kind of where it was like, oh, man, dang, like, uh, this is a little bit panic bow right now. Um, so yeah, that well, walk you, back to the huddle wasn't good. <laughs> and so, yeah, but you got to let me set this up, baby, because take me through the play. Huh? And this is <laughs> one of the most legendary plays college basketball has ever seen the NCAA tournament has ever seen. So kind of walk me through uh, your game when it play. So um, yeah, we get to the huddle and uh, the one thing about coach Herrick is he was, he was, he didn't let really like his emotions get up, get control of them. And so we're kind of panicking. I think and just in, especially inside, we're just looking like, Oh man, and we get to the huddle and coach coach Herrick is just as calm as normal. Like, I, you know, all right, let's go sit down. We're good. Just this is what we're going to do. You know, <laughs> and so he's like, all right, we're going to get ties the ball. And then, you know, he's going to, you know, go down and, and make a play, you know. And so um, it's like, OK, all right. We I, I kind of got my marching orders here. But um, Ed, Ed was a. Uh, Usually during that season, put it this way, put during that season, usually it's like, all right, let's just get it to Ed. You know, point guards, like, all right, let me get it to the man. Right. <laughs> so Ed is like, yeah, yeah, give me the ball. Give me the ball. I'm like, I got it. I got it. Give me the ball. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. And then Coach Herrick pulls me to this right before we walk out. And he's like, 
He's like, Ty, as you understand what I'm telling you, right? I want you <laughs> to shoot the ball. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, okay, okay, coach. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. All right, all right. <laughs> and uh, I got Ed over there giving me gestures, like, give me, you know, give me the ball, give me the ball. Like, all right. So I'm like, all right, all right. So, um, so my mind, so basically my mind was like, um, I got to get this thing down the floor as fast as I can. And that's kind of what my, I just said, you know, if I had to focus, that was my number one focus was like getting it down the floor. Um, um, so that's what, uh, that's all I could think about. And um, if you watch the play, I don't know, uh, Cameron hit me perfectly in stride. Um, so I didn't have to like stop or come back. And, and uh, that's, that that was just that that kind of got it going, and then I just was like, "It's it's just a foot race now. Let's roll." <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was a hell of a play, man. So I, I and I'm sure people when they see you now, you know what I mean. They got to bring you. Probably get tired of talking about the play uh, because it was it was it was it's, it's historic, man. It was a hell of a play. Uh, I uh, I just did an interview about Grim. Grim is the one that contested the shot. Um, uh, one of the local writers in LA was doing a story and um, he talked to, to Derek Graham and just was asking, you know, what was his, what was he thinking when I was going to shoot? And he was like, he's like, the coach was like, don't foul, don't foul, you know? So um, it's, it's funny when you watch it because he, he did everything he was supposed to do. Like he jumped and he had his arms high and, you know, um, didn't make contact, didn't foul. And, and, um, you know, it was like a, it wasn't an easy layup. So it was like a tough, tough shot to make. But um, it was just interesting just to kind of hear his perspective on on uh, what he thought about or what he was thinking when that was happening. <laughs> you know, so um, good defense, better. Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Well, hey, okay. Now, so you, I mean, what a game, great game. I mean, you made one of the best plays ever in college basketball. Then you go, uh, I think it was Mississippi state. You kind of, you guys ran through them, uh, mm -hmm. Mississippi state. And now you got UConn coming up, you know, mm -hmm. Ray Allen, one of the best oh, players yeah. in the country, you know, one of the purest shooter the, the game has ever seen. Uh, what was that? What was that? What was the scouting report, um, on UConn? Um, so that game was before we knew that how good they were, obviously, you know, Ray and, and Kevin is a LA guy. So Kevin went to Crenshaw. So I knew yeah, yeah. Kevin Ali. Yeah, he yeah, yeah, was good. Yep. Was good. And so um yeah, we knew that we knew it was gonna be a tough game. Um I think what happened was we knew that we we were up temple team. So they they have something came out in a paper some type of article came out that said that we couldn't run with them and so what? <laughs> yeah yeah and so um we all took offense to that let's say especially you as the point guard i know you did oh yeah 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 <laughs> we we were like wait a minute okay so uh if you watch that game again i don't know if you i mean if you can see it, it's still kind of grainy probably but <laughs> um <laughs> It's a track meet. I mean, that game is a track meet. To me, that's my one of my favorite games in the turn was just like how how fast that game was, just up and down, just talent, you know, just talent, two talented teams just going at it and and just making plays and and uh yeah, it was it was one of those those fun games, but it was a game, it was like, okay, we gotta prove somebody else that, that you know, that we how good we are, how how good we think we are. So um that was kind of a little motivation for that game in particular. Yeah. Who, whoever wrote that article should have been fired. <laughs> <laughs> and they did, they, they couldn't have watched you guys play all year. Like they come on. Like, man, that's where you were at your best. Like, come on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So yeah, you win that game. Now we got what? Uh, Oklahoma state who had the big boy, big country. Yes, yes. Yeah, so I'm sure the scouting report scouting report was just to stop him. Yeah, I mean we we were like they got big country, we got big George, so we going we going to stick big George on them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. But yeah, they were that was another tough game. They were good though, but we we actually we we felt we could run them too and I thought we just kind of get big big fella kind of moving up and down a little bit and um 
And I just realized how good, you know, when you're playing, you know how this is when you're in the game and you're playing against guys and, and you that you maybe haven't before, but when you get on the court with them, it's like, oh man, this dude is good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm a big country. I was like, man, this dude, he like his hand catches everything, all it finishes around the rim, just just he's all like, this dude is the truth, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so um, but yeah, we that was a that was a fun game. It was a tough game. Um it was a little bad for me because I got injured that yeah, game. Yeah, you hurt your wrist in that game, right? Yeah, yeah. I went to I went to the basket and I I I like I think I got fouled and made a layup or, and then I ran into the um backstop of the of the, the back, you know, the back and my wrist like kind of just jammed into the backstop weirdly and just got kind of all and all my momentum went on that. So that I I kept playing and again, you know how it is, I'm not gonna come out, you know, you don't come out again. Dog, <laughs> straight dog. Final four, <laughs> no, that ain't happening. Right. So, um I finished the game, but after that, I realized it was it was probably a little more serious than I expected. Yeah, and is that I, I remember like um, you you had a, a conversation with Cameron Dollar, right? No, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So you kind of like told him, kind of gave him a heads up, like it's it's probably worse than what people think. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. Before, uh, really, like right in the locker room before the game, I was. I couldn't hold the ball. I couldn't even like hold the ball in my hand. It was that's how bad it was. It, so this uh, is right before the national championship game. Yes, this is maybe fifteen minutes before we go out. <laughs> I know I didn't give Cam a whole lot of notice. <laughs> so I'd go to Cam and I was like, Cam, I said, look, look. I was like, I I can't go, man. I'm like, my wrist is messed up for real. Like I'm, you know, I was like trying to like really get him, just you know, but you know, just get ready, just be ready, you know, and I'm. And and Cam was just like, yeah, yeah, whatever, man. All right. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't never believe me because. <laughs> and so he walked away and I'm kind of looking like, I don't think he believes me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. And so, uh, yeah, Coach, uh, obviously, Coach Eric, he, he let me try. I was, there was no way I was going to try. Not try. You right. know, with adrenaline and everything, it's something. And it's the championship. I'm like, shoot, I'm gonna try this. This tough this one out. Yeah. Uh, but it was it was too bad. It was too yeah. bad. I was playing with like one hand out there in Arkansas for 40 minutes of hell. You know, so <laughs> they 100%. were 100. They were like, let's test. Oh, with this. <laughs> oh, you know they were coming. You are. You knew they were coming. They had a red beam on that wrist. They were All coming right. for sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, but let me let me back you up one second because nobody thought you could beat. Arkansas. Yeah. Like a lot of people wrote and they thought that that pressure uh, mm -hmm. was going to have you all have you have you guys flustered. And mm -hmm. is that like, um, did you guys kind of take that as disrespect as well? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I, I think you can see the theme of our whole run, right? It's yeah. like every game we're supposed to lose. And I'm like, wait a minute. I thought we were the number one seed. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, but yeah, that that kind of was a theme of, of our. I feel like our run is like every game was the game we're going to get upset. So um, that was another one that they didn't think we'd be able to handle the pressure. And then um, I don't know if word was out about Marissa or not, but um, one of the best things that happened that game, just kind of get to it, is Cam. When Cam came in for me, he uh, I think he had a turnover or two. And um, I remember Arkansas, I remember all those guys were just, oh, they were talking so much trash, you know, they were like, oh, yeah, yeah, like, we got this, oh, yeah, you know, oh, yeah, because they thought Cam was not, wasn't going to be able to handle it. <laughs> yeah. But that's what, like, Cam, me and Cam, and we were two PGs, we pushed that thing and go, let's push it, diamond, pass it, run, finish, you know, so, like, that's, we love that. And so, um, once Cam got rolling, I felt, I felt like they thought that, eventually he was going to start turning it over again, but that wasn't the case. I mean, once he caught rhythm, it was, and then Ed, you know, big Ed just went to work once he <laughs> show everybody the in the country. Right he was that dude. Warrior. Yes. Like, like, I got this, I got this. And then our freshman stepped up, Toby oh, had a yeah. big game. Um, um, you know, Jr. Those, those guys were all, they were ready. They were ready. But that's a credit to you all. I mean, getting them ready throughout the, you know, I'm sure that summer and mm. throughout the season and getting them ready. So now when you needed to lean on them, they were ready to rock and roll. Yep. Yep. Exactly right. Yeah. So now, okay, you win the game. <laughs> How was it? I know for me, man, like watching one shiny moment, 
was one of the best moments of my entire life. Like, because you, you, yeah. you, you, as a kid, you watch it. You're sitting there. I used to watch it with my father and brothers every year. Yeah. And to actually be like that one shiny moment, how was that for you? And I know it was a little tough because you didn't, you weren't able to play, but to, to, to actually be the last team standing, how was that for you? Oh, it was amazing. It was, it was, it's like, you, you just get overcome. I know, you know, this overcome with emotion, you know, once it's like, shoot, we're the last one standing, you know, <laughs> like yeah. we did it, you know, we accomplished our, like you, you have your goals, you set them, you work, you know, you, you put in the time and, and um, when, when you fulfill that goal and uh, to bring a championship, especially to UCLA where, you know, just the history and, and just, I mean, it's, it's, to me, no better place to win with, with what coach wouldn't built there. And, and uh, uh, just being a part of that was, was just amazing. And like you said, it was just, it was, you know, I, I even think at the time, you don't realize how, how important that is or how, how big it was. And you're just kind of on this ride, you know, it's like, when we go to Disneyland, what we do, we do, it was, it was a, <laughs> I mean, because I, I guess people that when you, when you talk about it, there was no one else won in L.A. that year. So, like, we got embraced by the whole city. And it had been 75 years before, you. I mean, since UCLA had won a championship. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, Wooden's, Wooden was the last. In, uh, I'm sorry, I said 20, it was uh, 25 years. Yeah, yeah, 1975, yeah. So, like, yeah, it was – um. It was a good year to win, really, because <laughs> you know they they took us on a world tour, man. We were on shows on everything. It was like <laughs> now, how was that? How was you embraced by like the Laker players and the Clippers, like and like the celebrities th throughout the city? Every I mean, it was everyone embraced us, like and and you nice. know in the summer the runs in the summer at UCLA, you know the Clippers and the Lakers are up at UCLA all summer. So those guys kind of just felt like they probably kind of raised us. They helped us. They used to coach us, you know what I mean? Yeah. So like they had a part in it too. And I just felt like they all just, it, it was like everybody won, you know what I mean? And, and uh, it was really a special, special time, special moment. And, you know, you know, you realize after that is how many just celebrities, random celebrities, random actors, actresses, singers, like entertainers were watching. It was like, you guys watch basketball? <laughs> like, over the year, they were like, we remember your team. We loved you. And it's just, it's, it's something that you don't realize at the time how impactful it was until later. Uh, yeah. Magic Johnson told me the night we won a championship, he was just congratulations, young fella. And, you know, hug, we love you. Ooh. And he said, you won't appreciate this until you get older. He said, it'll get better and better every year. Yeah. And so is that, you know, is that true for you? Absolutely. Absolutely. He's right. He's right. And Madge, Madge is one of the ones in the gym coaching. <laughs> coaching yeah, the cheating. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, it's, it's true. It is. It's really true. Um, I, f I feel like we, UCLA probably would have had a couple more by now. You know, I think we're on the way. We're right there. Right there. Yeah, yeah for sure. Always. Uh, you know, you'll yeah, be right back. We're right there. But um, I think you do really appreciate it more as you as you get older in the time. Because it's just how many you don't realize how many people you've affected or or impacted um, until maybe you meet them or they just, you know, talk about it or you just over time, you know, how I many it's like, man, you were you were already people were, you know, in other states and in other and they they'll be like, oh man, you guys were great. I loved your team. You know, it's like dang people in I don't know, Minnesota or Nebraska Flint, or somewhere Flint, like that. Flint, Flint like Michigan. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, for sure, man. Well, cool, man. I would Personally, like I said, you, you your team is one of my favorites. You are one of my all-time favorite point guards, and I would love to keep you over here for two more days uh, <laughs> if I could, but I know we got to let you go. So, man, I just want to take the time and say, uh, on behalf of all the college basketball fans, man, thank you for coming and hanging out with us and, and sharing your story. All right. No, nah, no problem. No problem. I all appreciate right. you having me on. This was fun. This Much was love, baby. Fun. Appreciate you. <laughs> Good seeing you, too. All right. Take it easy. Point right. God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's another episode of Run It Back. I'm your host, Martin Cleese, and thanks to the legendary Point God, Tyus Etney. This episode is produced by Truth Plus Media and presented by 19.9. Thanks for listening, 
And we'll see you next time when we run it back.